Hello dear traders, here one more time with you, like always, Eric Munoz in Lion Bull Academy. Let's make the analysis of the week like we do it now every week with Trading Central. It's gonna be from the day 27 of November 2023 till day 1 of December 2023. So let's begin. Remember all the analysis are made in one day chart. This means each candle represents one day of movement. So First of all, we have the Dow Jones, the main rise 1.71%. If we are above the 34,565, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. First target in 35,280, second target 35,670. If uh, the market go below the 34,565, then we can search for a possible alternative sell opportunity with the first target in 33,840 and the second target is 33,300. Next, we have the Nasdaq 100, the main rise 4.65%. If we are above the 15,530, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. First target, 16,320. 16, <laughs> 16, Second target, 16,660. If we broke below the 15,530, we're going to search for a sell opportunity. First target, 15,160. Second target, 14,660. Next, we have the SP500, the main rise at 3.79%. If we are above the 4,455, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. First target, 4,600. Second target, 4,710. If we broke below the 4,455, we're going to search for a sell opportunity. First target, 4,340. Second target, 4,270. Next, we have an interesting stock. We're talking about Lumen Technology. Lumen Technology, it's... um company it's you can say the concurrent of at and in america it's a telecommunication company i followed that company years ago i was thinking it's a very interesting company but after the falls was had the lately uh, last years i stopped following it was have a really nice dividend also have it in that time and now trading central say to us that have a very interesting possible rebound in price so if we are above the 1.01, 1 .01, we're going to search for a buy opportunity and the target can be 1.71 and extension 1.90. Really a nice possible moving of 65.87%. It's a company to keep an eye and maybe a good, um, a good investment for the short term. So next one we have Baidu. It's a company based, um, it's a web page of dating. So I think it's also can be interesting. Was have a strong fall in the past months of October. And now it looks like he's rebounding to his original price. So can go up at 17.83%. If we are above 114.13, we're gonna point 30, sorry. We're gonna search for a buy opportunity. First target 135.20 and the second target 140.30. If we broke below the 114.30, we're gonna search for a possible sell opportunity. First target 105.90, second target 101. Next, we have another company that looks interesting, a possible um, easy, uh, easy, easy money, we can say, still have a risk on it. We're talking about Fortinet. I don't know this company. Really, I have no idea about this company, but say uh, trading center, they can rise around 18.10%. What I see here is that was some gap to try to fill it. Last time happened this, he was not able to fill to the maximum price, but looks like this time is have a little bit more momentum and also the price is not so big of a distance so it will be an interesting opportunity if we are above 49.80 we're gonna search for a buy opportunity first target 58.40 second target 60.70 if we broke below the 49.80 we can search in the sell opportunity with the first target in 45.90 second target 43.60 Next, we have the Forex and we start with the euro versus the dollar. May rise 146 to 236 pips. If we are above 1.0630, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. First target 1.1060, second target 1.1150. If we broke below the 1.0630, then we can search for a sell opportunity. First target 1.0515, second target 1.0445. Next, we have the British pound versus the USD dollar. May rise from 100. 42 till 317 pips if we are above 1.2180 we're gonna search for a buy opportunity first target 1.2675 second target 1.2850 
if we broke below 1.2180 we're gonna search for a possible sell opportunity first target 1.2005 second target 1.18 Next, we have the crude oil, the WTI oil or the oil Nitoro may fall 15.13%. If we are below 83.50, we're going to search for a sell opportunity. First target 70, second target 66. If we broke above the 83.50, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. First target 87.10, second target 90.80. Next, we have the gold, the main rise 3.66%. If we are above 1,930, we're going to search for a buy opportunity. Best target 2010, second target 2017. If we broke below 1,930, we're going to search for a sell opportunity. First target 1,895, second target 1,865. Next, we have the natural gas that may fall 20.87%. If we are below 3.87%, 0690 we're gonna search for a sell opportunity first target 2.5570 second target 2.1490 if we broke above that price we're gonna search for a buy opportunity first target 3.3190 second target 3.6 next we have the bitcoin the may rise 17.80 percent if we are above the 34480 we're gonna search for a buy opportunity first target 41920 second target 44100 if we broke below that price, we can search for a sell opportunity. First target 30,820 and the second target 28,650. And for the last, we have Ethereum, the main rise 20.34. If we are above the 1,843, we're going to search for a possible buy opportunity. First target 2,300, second target 2,434. If we broke below 1,843, we're going to search for a sell opportunity. First target 1,618, second target 1,485. So that was everything for today. Remember to click the like button, which help me a lot for the algorithm of YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That also will help me really to achieve all the goals I am planning for this year. So thank you one more time and see you next time.